So right now I added this repository and then one of the package which I want to download which is a Tomcat. Okay. So now this command which will install that. Okay. So now what should I do? You know, I should go through step by step in order to avoid the confusion. So I have a notes. Where is that? Uh, notes is in. Uh, just give me two seconds. Uh, here. So this is the notes. Okay. So here, first thing what I did, I installed the helm. That is done. After that, I am going to uh, add the helm chart repository. So this also I did it. I added the bitnami. That is also done. Now, these are the commands you can run to list the chart to install it. Okay, whichever is the chart. So Helm chart repo stable. So how many uh, uh, repository you have it? So let me show you here. Uh, so repository you have my repo. So if you want to search for that, how many how many you have? So in how many charts you have? So repo my repo and like that you see that hell lot of you bitnami is very powerful uh, registry and so many so many repos you have in this so one of which is tomcat which i'm trying to target where is a tomcat it's here you see this is the one so this many software you can install it install it from uh, this repo actually okay so now you can search for different different hub hub i have not added though but you can add it and many things Okay, so if you want to update your registry, local registry, so here uh, repo update and automatically it will be done. But right now I don't need because just now I added it. It's not making any sense for adding repository. Uh, so done. Now update and all is done. Now how do we install it? So that is the, so helm install and the name of the chart which you want to install it. And some random name you want to generate, you can do that. So, Are you going to share your notes to us? Yeah, yeah I'll, I'll share this. Definitely. I'll share. Yeah. So here, this command will install. See here. Helm install which repo? This repo. And what is the name of it? Chart. This my, uh, what is the name of the release? My release. If you want to generate randomly the name, you can pass uh, this command line also. Uh, this command also. So many, many things are there. Fundamentally, you should be strong. Chart may change, the command will not change. Okay, so remember that. So what to do? I'll go, just run this copy code and paste it. And mind it here, uh, here mind it, qctl, get pods. See here, I have a, okay, I'll, I'll delete this front and back. So can I delete, uh, this was I created last session, right? So delete what, deploy and back. And then one is front. And one is uh, delete RC also. So delete RC. What is the name of it? Raj hyphen RC. I deleted. So get pod. See nothing is there. So now when I deploy this chart, remember this chart may have a multiple YAML files and all. Entire Tomcat uh, done. So I installed. I mean deployed it. Now this is the status. See default namespace is got deploy, deploy revision number one. So next time you apply the new revision number, it will become a two, three, four and stuff like that. And some of the meta information here you have how to use it. See that they're giving you complete information. Now this is something, how do you get the Tomcat username and password and all stuff like that. Okay, so can we check this? So remember that's only one command, but it got deploy, get pods. See that this is pod, get deployment. Let me check the deployment has done or not deployment c deployment get svc and tomcat svc do you have it here it is and you see the load balancer types are created so load balancer has a node port also cluster ip also and the load balancer is pending because this is not connected to aws okay so this is something which got deployed so i deployed now the question is i forgot that how do we uninstall it so in 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 yum we do install right and then after that what we do in yum what do you do what do you do remove right yum remove correct so here what we do we are doing uninstalling so here install uninstall okay very simple so let me see the uh, list show list 
my release and then uninstall and the my release you see that installing uninstalling and now you see that gone and uh, give ctl also i'll show you just for your confirmation see it's gone are you understanding install and install so what i did add so repository you added then install it and install it you can update also yes but this is the huge cases of it are you understanding all of you yeah okay so like that we have a so many commands you have to practice it so here you see that uh, list if you want to see the list of uh, total religious which you have done history of the religious if you want to do one two three four five six and all uh, if you want to if you want to uh, pull some charts from the you know uh, uh, registry you can do that you can create your own chart and push it also at artifact hub or somewhere else and uh, here you can see the status show number of charts and status okay so these are the commands uninstall it you should try so these are the very frequently used commands so i'll install it one more time okay and install it one more time list show list you see show so all chart show all chart what is arguments show all chart what is the mistake actually show enter and it will tell you show all and the chart so it should show me okay so it's not working so let me show chart and chart name is I forgot that. What was the name? Uh, let me do that. List and show chart. Uh, here I am just looking for chart. So list of religious and get get yeah download get and one more show. Uh, list of religious examine stall history help get I forgot the command which was to display the list of charts uh, I just know I run it just a hold on uh, the command is command is ha huh, this is one so repo list okay so this is the one so how many charts let me copy that from the my notes i forget that so what is this so install done show uh, here so helm this one and this one so my chart name was i forgot this is the one yeah so show chart so show chart enter okay so complete information about the chart and all like this you will get it and then uninstall it so now this is the way you can update the repository install the chart here you can generate random name show all the charts which you have it which you deployed show the, all the states check the status of release so my release was uh, helm list and enter show status right your status status and the release name is my release this is the one this is all information you have and finally uninstall it so guys this is something which you can do on regular basis install update see uninstall and so on are you comfortable all of you yeah okay now next question is how do we create a chart that is a question my own chart i want to create so how do we do that so that is where you should you should try you should try a command which is called helm enter and then there is one create command here see it? so now this command will create a skeleton actually and that you need to understand okay so here first let me create so mkdir hel my 
cd hl my and i'm inside that is a blank directory you see that so helm uh, what is the command a uh, client a uh, create and web okay so this is my my chart now you want to see this structure let me install this utility tree is not installed so i'm installing it done so can we see that here look at this structure carefully so this is a chart is nothing but a one structure actually look at this here. charts are nothing but a structure now in this chart web which i created just now this is the meta information meta information means about the chart you have who's the what is the name of the chart who's the author of the chart what is the dependency of one chart to another chart and many things you want to see that so here more web chart dot yaml look at this here uh, api word the name description how to use it some version of chart and many other information will be there dependencies and all kind of things so that is a one thing so that is a meta information each chart you will see that one now what where the yaml files so all the yaml files will go in this directory see here so whatever you learn you learn service you learn this uh, deployment typically i told you there's other components also so any yaml files you deploy in this you keep it in the directory called templates okay are you understanding all of you yeah so all the yaml files you keep it here this is the meta information okay and here all the values you should want to interpolate you keep it here so if you want to deploy this chart for dev qa production environment different different values so you declare the value variable here variable and value here and here you can uh, use as a interpolate interpolation i'll show you that one and then you can use it in the chart simple so now this all these files will be very uh, empty actually so let me show you the deployment so uh, vi web uh, templates deployment see this is not empty but what exactly oh this is it's not empty but template has given you can delete this and you can get it your own also this is a some template has been given now this is something you see this pattern here your values will be interpolated okay so what value you are talking about so this is the here values will be interpolated here values will be interpolated so if you want to control this you see that image name so it's a deployment you look at this here kind is equal to look at it very carefully this is spec uh, uh, let me open up one more time see here starting kind is equal to deployment on these all this is interpolated this is the they're giving you okay do one thing uh, so write that you are uh, template yaml file in this way so this way everything has been templated so now from where you will pass this variable so you'll have to change this variable under the uh, values.yaml so let me show you this here uh, values.yaml see here these all variables here so what you are deploying basically nginx okay and you are deploying everything here are you understanding all of you these all are variables here look at this are you all of you yeah hello okay Hi. so not to confuse you right now what i will do i'll do a little bit of drafting decisions what i'll do i will go inside the template directory just to minimize your confusion okay just I'll, I'll just be simple because don't want to complicate show you the complicated files i'll delete everything it's a template created for you so now you see that nothing is there that was the best practices actually but now you see nothing is there under the templates so what to do so now i'm going to under the templates and here i am going to simple i'm creating one simple yaml file so which you will get comfortable with it so let's say pod that one which you are very comfortable with it okay so kubernetes pod one yaml file okay and now this is the yaml file which we played it out now what i'm going to do named with anything pod or yaml or whatever it is i'm not creating a template variable and all kind of things to avoid confusion so now you are comfortable all of you are you comfortable now 
So only one file. Here under the template is going to have hundreds of files. Make sense? Yeah. Okay. So now what to do? So this is the chart which I have created. This is my own chart and which will deploy only one pod and so on. So what to do? So now the command should be to install this chart is in Helm install. See, I forgot the command line, uh, but little line installed and dot web. It should be dot web, okay? And this one, uh, you want to use some name and all something like that. So pod one or something like that. And it is deployed. You see here. So this is the name of the release, and this is the location, local directory deployed. Can you check that pod were deployed or not? Pod CTL get um, get what pods see that uh, this is my one right now see 15 seconds and are you understanding all of you so this is how you can create your own chart okay your own chart and uh, now if you want to uh, create a complicated chart template based chart variables and all you can complicate see here so now one of the variable which you can define here okay vi web values dot yaml so here there are different different types of uh, variables which you can define okay so repository is variable image dot repository values and genetics like that you can define your own things and there you can interpolate it are you understanding mm. yeah okay so now this is a your chart so let me come back to this so installing is done now these all commands i talked about it these are some of the commands so in it uh, okay these are uh, some of the commands in the slides if you find it'll be it's got deprecated because helm 3 we are using uh, right now helm 2 has been deprecated so this has some content for uh, you know that one also so here you see there is a chart under me. You have a chart.yaml, values.yaml, and template directory, which you have a deployment.yaml, service.yaml. Anything you want to interpolate, uh, define the key and value format in the values.yaml, and double curly braces you, I showed you. That way, you can interpolate over there. OK, so this is the chart. Any questions so far, all of you? Uh, same set, how can I install in multiple ports? Uh, same, what do you say? Same? The same chart. How can I install in multiple ports if required? Multiple ports? Yeah. No, this question is wrong actually. Using the chart, you deploy the, uh, deploy the pods to the Kubernetes cluster. Correct, no? Yeah, yeah. You don't yeah, deploy correct. inside a pod. So you using the Helm chart, basically it automate your multiple, you know, apply multiple, create multiple, de delete multiple update, all this thing, it has been automated. So using Helm chart, you can install a lot of YAML file in one go, which may contain, this YAML file may contain pod, replication controller, service, service account, PV, oh, PVC, okay. and different, different things. Look at this image one more time. Uh, inside the chart, uh, where is that? Look at this here. Inside the chart, you have a template directory, and this is your deployment.yaml, service.yaml, and hundreds of other files. Correct, no? Yeah, I got it. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay, more questions, guys? Thanks for watching. Want to study further? Join our training programs today.